Uh, for this video, what I'm uh, gonna be doing is showing you guys all the parts that I have so far. I'm only missing a couple of... Um, this is gonna be, again, the 5.3 truck motor. We're gonna be reworking the factory harness, which we have over here on the ground. Um, we have the swap headers, uh, the flywheel, the adapt I'm sorry, the flex plate and adapter, uh, oil pan. So I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of all the parts that I have to show you what it takes to actually do this LS swap in an 84 Caprice. Uh, it's the same as some other bodies, but in my case, you know, everybody's different and we're going, everybody has their own, man, you know how it goes. So let's get to it. All right, so let's start with the first things. First, we're gonna do with gaskets. Uh, let me taking this off. So I have an intake manifold gasket set. We have some valve cover gaskets. This is a rear uh, timing cover set. Water pump gaskets. We're gonna be changing the water pump. This is the valley uh, gasket, uh, valley cover gasket set. As far as gaskets, that's pretty much it for the block. Uh, we are missing the front timing cover gasket set. I'm gonna be taking this off, cleaning it up, but that's the only part missing as far as gaskets. Headers. So these are S10 swap headers that we have to find through eBay. Now, when you're ordering these, uh, be aware that the bolts they come with, uh, which they're not here, I have them somewhere else. The bolts they come with, they're actually not the right bolts for this. I already had to remove uh, the two broken bolts from factory on the other side. I still got this one to do, but that's all right, easy to do. Um, so I'll just get you a good set of uh, header bolts for this now. These are cheap. I think this costs uh, 90 bucks ship free shipping and they come with a nice decent flange really thick flange so uh, that's really cool with the collectors that you're going to be using uh, the O2 sensors on this primary so that's really cool gaskets and whatnot I'll send you guys the eBay uh, buyer we got that from now as far as mounting the motor we're using dirty dingo motor mounts a really nice kit comes with all the bolts necessary you're going to be mounting this to the block and reusing your factory clamshell style motor mount. So he does have new motor mounts coming. That's uh, explainable. I'll give you guys the part number for that. We have new spark plugs and GKs. Really like those. Uh, that's the part number there. Uh, big fan of NGKs. You can run AC Delcos, whatever you want to run. So... Uh, Let's see, we have header swap, we have motor mounts. This is just motor stuff. Oh, fuel pump. This is a Warble uh, 250 or 255 uh, fuel pump. Customer went with this brand. I'll uh, throw this in the uh, description as well, but this is like a Warble 255 uh, fuel pump. Now talking about fuel pumps, because we have an 84 Capri, this is uh carbureted so uh after a little research instead of changing tanks and dealing with all that this tank's obviously good uh what works uh, easiest for our application is just to buy a fuel saving unit this is for uh, i'll give you guys a part number later this is a Spectra uh, fuel sanding unit. This is for 87 Buick uh, Grand National. Uh, so fuel injected, it has the, this motor does have a return. However, uh, again, I'm not really committed yet to either running uh, two fuel lines to the motor or just running one. I might buy the power, uh, the Corvette uh, fuel pump filter, or sorry, the fuel filter and just run the return really close to the tank so i don't have to run two fuel lines all the way to the top again this is just he's not going big horsepower so the factory corvette fuel uh, filter that has the internal regulator will easily handle uh his needs so 
87 Grand Ash fuel pump sending unit. Uh, we're gonna put this fuel pump inside of there. Be more than capable enough for his needs. Going forward here, these are actually uh, adapters for and fittings uh, to the factory fuel lines. Now, uh, this is an uh, adapter for the fuel lines on the factory intake, which is over here. It's gonna convert this clip-on style and it's gonna have an and fitting back here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run, because we're running the fuel pressure regulator uh, Corvette style, this return, which is right here, is actually going to get blocked. So we're going to put the fitting over here and put a, a an cap right here. So nothing's going to be happening because that fuel pressure regulator is not doing anything, right? That way we only have to run one fuel line all the way to the front. It makes everything simple. So these are those. Uh, these, this is part of the fuel system. However, I'll give you guys uh, part numbers on this when the fuel system is done later. Now. Let's see, let's get to some more pots, baby. More pots and more power. So we have here the flex plate kit, right? Really cool system they have here. It comes with a coupler, new flex plate bolts. Uh, really awesome, already got the, uh, anti-lock thread. So this is the adapter for uh, the crankshaft, right under the crankshaft to adapt it to the transmission uh, torque converter, right? That little, um, what do you call that? Where it mounts to, kind of centers it, it adapts that. And then inside here, we have already uh, ready to go flex plate now this is really cool i also found out you can use your factory flex plate from the 350 if you just along one of these holes now i offered you know the customer you know you got options and this kit was only you know like 120 bucks it's not even that expensive so that makes it really easy easier for me by the time i start doing all that cutting and grinding and you know it gets laborsome, so easier to avoid, it, especially when it's that cheap. That's honestly that's the thing with this LS swaps nowadays, guys. Like I've been so old school about things, and but they're just getting too cheap. Really inexpensive to build one of these, you know, these kind of motors. Uh, the market is out there, but I tell you what, carburetors reliable can't go wrong with a carburetor all right so let me finish popping up this and this is an oil pan now this is a made in china product however it has a lot of good reviews it comes with an oil pan gasket awesome amazing what else does it come with we have our pickup tube right problem with the uh, uh, certain oil pans now I did hear a truck oil pan will clear the uh, 84 Caprice however hangs really low so that's gonna come into a problem with you know clearances on the, on the ground now what he wants to do in the future is up to him but the really nice part about this is it comes with the pickup tube right always want to make sure you got that mesh screen in there and then we have, of course, the actual uh, oil pan. Now this is an oil pan that was supposed to be made for old school swaps. But you can see looking at it, this, right, is about the same up until here, about the third bolt going back. This keeps, right, one, two, three, four. It's still narrow all the way back there. It gives us more clearance. And then the sump, 
right, is a lot lower on this pan. Now this is cast and I'm looking at it and it does look cast. When I mean cast, I mean it is obviously made in China. But all this in here, uh, this would be flush on a, on a nice high quality pan. You, uh, I could already tell. Uh, not a big deal. Let's just say it's going to help filter out all the bad stuff that happens in there. We have a little uh, a plate here for the pickup, which is nice. I'll go in somehow. Somewhere like that. Anyways, it goes in somehow. I'm not going to get into that. And the nice thing is it actually comes with new bolts. So this kit, I think it was, I want to say, uh, like two... 200 ish somewhere around there but you can't beat it it comes with you know relocating pickup tube clearance for for days on the oil pan we're not going to run into any issues there so that's good cool. now going forward what i'm going to be doing the other part of the parts list that i have of course degreaser can't have enough of that uh here is the factory harness we're going to be, uh, well, I'm going to be depinning this and running only the necessities to make it a standalone harness. Now, this goes to the computadora. And this big old fuse block, which will normally power all the accessories and whatnot in the cabin and engine, is uh, once you do the standalone and you, you go through the wires, you only need about four or five of these power relays uh relays uh fuses and relays so what i decided and i told him it'd be a lot easier and nicer to get one of these relay boxes now i have built boxes relay boxes where you get them from like amazon and you gotta wire and, and do all this stuff but for the price you guys you can't beat this quality i mean it comes pre-wired it's ready to go in this case uh from this company it's meant for ls swaps i mean it gives you the whole layout you can't go wrong with this i think 120 bucks 150 something like that i'll give you guys the prices it comes with its own power lead I mean, everything laid out, you, you just can't go wrong. It makes it so simple. It's going to make it easier for me, which actually, you know, makes it less expensive for him because he's going to have two things, a cleaner install, one, a cleaner install, you know, no big box in there. And then I'm not going to be sitting there. When you get one of these universals, you have to make every wire, cut every length. You got to uh, crimp or solder each terminal put it in there you know when you get the universal boxes and look at this it's got the micro relays it's got its own fuses i mean you just can't go wrong and it's already pre-wired you know so you you just this makes the install so much easier when doing and it even comes with its own obd2 um, port however we're going to be working something with that um, i did have to buy a ls plate for the install because I don't have one. <clears throat> I usually, you know, use intake bolt holes, but that'll make just things easier for me. So all in all, it, it's not bad. I mean, what, we have headers, oil pan, dirty dingo motor mounts, you know, and that's really all you need if you have a good running motor. I'm going the extra step and changing the rear main seal, you know, uh, rear, uh, cover seal so i'm doing the front timing cover uh seal and you know changing all those gaskets since we're here it makes no sense not to so i mean besides the headers dirty dingo motor mounts uh the adapter for the transmission i mean those are really the basic things you need however everything i have here is just about 90 percent of what you're going to need to actually start or, or do the swap you know the other 10 percent is fuel lines uh ac brackets you know do front brackets however we are going to be using his brackets right here just clean those up and he's using everything from there he does have a hydro boost 
So I have to, um, I believe I have to, once I put the power steering, I might have to put a different pressure, uh, either a resistor or like uh, something in the back of his pump in case the pressure doesn't mount up right, but we'll figure that out later. I might be wrong, I don't know. Um, you know, water pump, but everything here is enough to get you guys going as far as a LS swap install goes. But hey, you know, it's all about just doing it. So for now, where I sit at is degrease the motor, take off balancer and, you know, clean everything up. I actually have a powder coat here. So I'm going to be powder coating the valve covers, uh, a couple of little pieces just to make things last longer. And we're going to paint the engine. So I'll give you guys a parts list of everything I have. I hope you enjoyed the video and you know, like, and subscribe. It really helps out. Peace.